Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive left out. We've learned dozens of Providence preschool aged children are not getting the special education they need despite a federal law requiring school districts to serve students with developmental delays. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado went to education officials for answers. She joins us now in studio with what she's learned. The parents we spoke with are extremely worried about their young children who are developing language and other crucial skills more slowly than their peers, but can't get help. And when you call his name, he wouldn't answer. Junie Fed Michelle was worried when her son Junik, nicknamed Juju, didn't start speaking as a toddler. I thought it was normal for a child to start like saying some words when they turn one, and Juju didn't say anything. <laughs> At three, still struggling with language development, Juju should have started getting special education services from his home school district in Providence. It's federal law. He was supposed to start on uh, November 7th. They called me and told me that they didn't have any space because um, uh, uh, all the school like they are full. Despite having an individualized education program, IEP, for more than four months, Juju has still yet to go to school or receive any of the services he needs to catch up developmentally to his peers. He turns four this summer. They're not doing their job. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. Because my son, he's like three and a half. He should be like suffering to get services. Target 12 spoke to multiple Providence families whose three-year-olds have developmental delays and are still waiting. In response to our questions, Providence school officials acknowledged 34 students ages three to five are not getting the services they are legally entitled to receive. Is this acceptable to you? It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. We took those parents' concerns to State Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green, who currently controls the Providence schools. She says a severe staffing shortage is to blame. We have empty classrooms ready to go. Like empty classrooms already set up with the equipment, everything that we need, but we cannot find qualified teachers. The Federal Individuals with Disabilities Education Act requires the district to provide special education to these students. Is so the Providence Public School District breaking the law? Well, I think we're having trouble meeting the law. I don't, I don't, it's, it's a bad situation. This is not normal. This is not something that, that was happening a few years ago. Uh, or five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Sam Salgonic from the advocacy group Ripen has been helping families navigate the system. He says this problem is particularly concerning because at such a young age, every week counts. There are critical time periods and critical milestones that um, once you miss them, you really can't get the time back. Junie Fed says she can't go back to work until her son gets placed in a classroom. For now, they're just still waiting. As a mother, it's a heartbreaking situation for me. The Providence Public School District has posted jobs for special education pre-K teachers and is offering signing bonuses starting at $5,000. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.